Hey guys, Fear Strike here with another video. And before I do that, I'm a proud member of Itic Beer's Unification Group. Um, I haven't, I always forget to put that thing, but I will now. <laughs> Itic Beer's Unification Images. Because I'm ghetto like that. And I can't edit, so oh no, this is much better. Proud member of your War Gamer Nick Beer's War Gamers Unification Group. So, with that out of the way, I wanted to show you my progress on my Space Marian Army. And they're looking all blacked out. That's because I blacked put some black paint on most of them. And you saw these guys yesterday. If you didn't Watch the whole video. Here's a recap of my Space Marine Army. The orcs are gonna wait a bit. Sorry for all you WA orc fans, but I wanted to always paint my Space Marine Army up. But never had the chance to. So, six bikers on black with chain swords. Um, we got a tack bike up in front. This is all from the kind of Ravenwing box set, I think that I got a long time ago that I can't remember. And as I said before, my Space Marines are like a subset of Dark Angels. Not really, but have kind of the same lore of falling kind of into chaos a little bit, but not really. So, attack bike he with heavy bolter and the guy there has a bolt pistol. I have two tactical squads. One with a plasma cannon and one with the first unit Sergeant with a converted kind of, can't really see it right now, but he has a plasma, combat plasma and a power sword. And there's a plasma cannon and a plasma gun in this unit, so very Dark Angel-ish. And then this is not quite Dark Angel-ish. I wanted to put a multi-melta combat, combi, multi-melta in this group, but couldn't do it. But I do guy have a guy with chainsaw bolt gun and then a multi melta, heavy multi melta and a melta gun. This is my two lieutenants. Um I used kind of the Dark Angel screw to kind of make these guys more unique and their bases are bigger, which all these bases should be bigger, but I decided to go it like that. And I converted Razor back in the back there. Um, that was from an old school Sisters of Battle Rhino Adeptus Sororitas. Sororitas? I don't know. And I think it looks really cool. I will be adding more tanks into this unit or transports, but not right now. This transport's just for these two lieutenants. Oh, or I don't know who I'm gonna put in there. I uh, have a heavy bolter squad. With a sergeant with a bolt pistol and power fist. He's protecting them. And another heavy devastator squad. They're called devastator squads, by the way. Um, another devastator squad with last cannons and a guy with a power fist. And last but not least, a typhoon ra land raider. And you might notice that this part isn't clamped down. Because it wants to talk like a puppet, but I couldn't, I don't know, some some way the plastic formed. And on the right side you might notice the missile launcher is kind of tilted anyways. I don't know how to fix that, but I'm fine with it. I don't care as much. Anyways, that's my Space Marine Army. I hope you guys like it. Uh, there will definitely be added more like transports for my Marines. Or maybe not. Maybe I just I kind of just want a drop pod for this this unit over here because that would be cool to land it near a tank and shoot my multi melta stuff. And then and maybe another Razorback. This tactical squad can just stay in the background and shoot. I guess near objective. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really play 40k, but uh, it's fun to think about tactics and all that jazz. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Tomorrow will probably be the reveal of my color scheme. 
I hope you guys like it. It's not what you expect from a Space Marine Army, but um, when I do it, it will be awesome, I think. I don't know. It might be back to green, Dark Angels, because they, they do have a Dark Angels theme. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.